Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and we're going to look at creating smoke and after effects by using Particle Playground. Here we have a stock image of a mushroom house from Envato Elements. We're going to add Particle Playground to a solid layer. So first we have to create a new solid layer. Layer New Solid, and then we'll add the effect by going to Effects, Simulation, Particle Playground. One of the first things we'll do is twirl down on the Canon property, and we can position our emitter to be at the opening of the chimney. As we play this, we'll see that we'll need to adjust the width of the emitter, or the barrel radius in this case, as well as the particles per second. The other options here alter the direction, the spread, the speed, the color, and the size of the particles. We can adjust them to our liking. The directional spread will be how the particles V out, the velocity is how fast they're coming out, and the particle radius is their size. Now if we play this, we'll see that the smoke is not floating upward, it's coming out and then falling down to the ground, and that's because of gravity. There is a gravity option. If we go here, we can change the force to zero, and then that will make the particles float upward like smoke does. So now we'll add a blur to the particles to make them appear more like smoke. A Gaussian blur works fine for this. We can remove the repeat edge pixels in this case, and now we have smoke that goes straight up, but of course that's fairly unrealistic unless it's a perfectly still day. So to improve this look, we can alter the direction value that's within our Canon properties of Particle Playground. We can add a wiggle expression here. So we can alter option click on the stopwatch for direction, and let's add a wiggle expression. And of course the wiggle expression has a frequency and an amplitude, and you can pick whatever works for you and you can see that we start to wiggle the smoke. And now if we bring our barrel radius down to help keep that smoke wiggle within the confines of the chimney opening, you can see that we have some passable smoke here that billows in the breeze and just adds a nice touch to this scene. So Particle Playground, one of those effects that is often overlooked because it's an older effect, but it can do a ton of things. And one of those things is to help you quickly create some smoke. Thank you.